Singapore is facing one of the most critical challenges of the 21st century, rising sea levels. As a small yet highly influential city-state, it is particularly vulnerable to this threat. With just 734 square kilometers of land and nearly 6 million residents, it's no surprise that one third of Singapore sits less than 5 meters above sea level. But rather than just accepting this vulnerability, Singapore is taking groundbreaking steps to protect its future. In this video, we'll explore how Singapore plans to safeguard its land, its people, and its future. The city-state is undertaking one of the most ambitious climate adaptation projects in the world, the creation of three massive artificial islands known as Long Island. Let's dive into the details of this bold project, which could redefine the future of urban planning, flood resilience, and environmental sustainability. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to stay updated on the latest innovations tackling climate change worldwide. The vision, as global temperatures rise, so do sea levels. The consequences of this are far-reaching, especially for coastal cities like Singapore, where flooding is an ever-growing threat. To combat this, Singapore is embarking on a revolutionary $100 billion project that will expand its landmass and fortify its coastlines against the devastating effects of rising waters. The Long Island Project is designed not just to reclaim land, but to transform the city-state into a beacon of climate resilience and urban innovation. By 2100, scientists predict global sea levels could rise by up to 5 meters, a grim reality that Singapore is preparing for. The country is determined to stay ahead of the curve by investing in forward-thinking solutions now. But how does it plan to achieve this? Let's break it down. Expanding land, protecting the future one of the most impressive features of the long. Island project is its size and scale. 800 hectares of land, twice the size of Marina Bay, will be added to Singapore's coastal areas. These artificial islands will sit off the country's east coast, forming an intricate barrier designed to protect the mainland from flooding and storm surges. This visionary project isn't just about land reclamation, it's about re-engineering the future of coastal living to withstand the impacts of climate change. The islands will feature state-of-the-art flood control systems that will manage tidal flow and storm surges, preventing them from overwhelming the islands and the mainland. This technological approach will not only make Singapore safer, but will also pave the way for other cities facing similar challenges to adopt these cutting-edge solutions. Let's take a closer look at the components that make Long Island such a groundbreaking project, a new approach to land reclamation. For decades, Singapore has been a leader in land reclamation. Since the 1960s, the city-state has expanded its territory by importing sand and dumping it into the sea. This has allowed Singapore to build iconic areas like Changi Airport, Marina Bay, and East Coast Park. However, this traditional method has raised environmental concerns, particularly regarding the loss of marine habitats and coral reefs. To address these concerns, Long Island will introduce a more sustainable and innovative approach. Rather than relying solely on sand, Singapore will use prefabricated concrete blocks, known as caisson blocks. These large hollow structures will be placed directly on the seabed to form the island's foundation. This advanced construction method offers several advantages over traditional sand-based reclamation, including enhanced structural stability and long-term durability. These caisson blocks are made of high-strength concrete designed to withstand harsh marine conditions for up to 150 years. This not only ensures a more stable and durable foundation, but also allows for future adaptability. The modular nature of the system means individual blocks can be replaced or upgraded as needed, providing flexibility to meet future challenges. This innovative approach represents a massive leap forward in how we build and manage coastal cities. Purpose and function of the islands. Each of the three islands in the Long Island project will serve a specific function. Let's look at what each will contribute to Singapore's growth and resilience. Residential and commercial development. One of the islands will be dedicated to creating space for high-rise apartments, office buildings, and retail centers. This will provide new opportunities for both housing and business growth, helping Singapore accommodate its growing population and economy. Recreational spaces. Another island will be focused on recreation, adding green parks, artificial beaches, 
and waterfront leisure areas. This will significantly enhance Singapore's already abundant waterfront spaces, offering 20 more kilometers of coastline for public enjoyment. With Singapore's reputation for high quality of life, this new space will offer even more outdoor opportunities for residents and tourists. Changi Airport Expansion The third island will strengthen Singapore's position as a global aviation hub by expanding Changi Airport. This will not only improve air travel capacity, but also foster the growth of industries that support transportation, logistics, and international business. This expansion will cement Singapore's place as one of the world's busiest and most connected airports. Each island will thus contribute to Singapore's economic growth, environmental sustainability, and quality of life. But there's one more area where Long Island stands out, its innovative construction techniques. Long Island will incorporate prefabricated concrete blocks as the core building material for the islands. These caisson blocks are large hollow structures made of high strength concrete designed to withstand harsh marine conditions for up to 150 years. This method offers several key advantages, durability, Concrete blocks provide a much stronger foundation than traditional sand reclamation. Flexibility. The modular nature of the system means that individual blocks can be replaced or upgraded. As needed, adapting to future changes. Sustainability. Unlike traditional sand-based methods, which can have negative impacts on marine ecosystems, the use of concrete blocks reduces environmental disruption and offers greater stability for the islands. This innovative approach could set a new standard for future coastal development projects around the world. Addressing environmental concerns. Despite its promise, the Long Island project has faced some criticism, particularly from environmental groups concerned about the impact on marine life. Singapore has already lost over 60% of its coral reefs due to past land reclamation, and critics worry that Long Island could exacerbate this issue. To mitigate these concerns, the government has pledged to conduct extensive environmental impact assessments and engage in public consultations. This approach will ensure that the project minimizes its ecological footprint while achieving its goals. Additionally, the design includes measures to protect marine habitats and promote biodiversity in the surrounding areas. While the environmental concerns are valid, Singapore's commitment to sustainable development and innovation is clear. The government is determined to find ways to balance economic growth, flood resilience, and environmental protection. No project is without its skeptics. Some argue that the Long Island project, as ambitious as it is, may not be enough to protect Singapore in the long run. Climate models predict that global sea levels could rise by up to one meter by 2100. However, if the melting of polar ice accelerates, sea levels could rise much higher. Skeptics argue that no matter how advanced the technology, the unpredictable forces of nature could undermine the effectiveness of the project. Singapore may need to explore additional measures to complement Long Island's flood protection efforts such as further elevation of coastal areas or the development of more advanced flood control systems. Despite these concerns, the Long Island project represents a bold step forward in protecting Singapore from rising sea levels. It sets a global example of how cities can tackle the challenges of climate change through innovation and strategic planning. The Long Island project will not be completed overnight. Construction will unfold in phases over several decades. Between 2025 and 2029, feasibility studies, environmental impact assessments, and public consultations will take place. If all goes according to plan, actual construction will begin in the 2030s, with the first phases taking shape over the following decades. The entire project is expected to take 50 years to complete, with different sections being finished at various stages. This long timeline reflects the complexity of the project and the careful planning needed to ensure its success. Long Island is more than just a land reclamation project. It's a visionary solution to one of the most pressing challenges of our time. By combining advanced engineering, sustainable urban planning, and climate resilience, Singapore is positioning itself as a global leader in urban development and climate adaptation. While the full benefits of the project may take decades to fully materialize, Long Island represents a game changer for how cities can adapt to climate change and grow sustainably.
It shows that with bold thinking and innovative solutions, even the most challenging environmental issues can be addressed, ensuring that cities like Singapore remain resilient and prosperous in the face of rising sea levels. As the world faces the challenges of climate change, Long Island stands as an example of how technological innovation and strategic urban planning can help countries future-proof themselves against the effects of a rapidly changing environment.